for the past two months now, two and a half months, I've been couch surfing, living out of my suitcase and my backpack. Tomorrow, I officially get my new apartment, so I thought, why not today show you guys what's in this bag that I've been living out of. Originally, I actually got this bag to travel with my skydiving gear. You see, my helmet would go here, my skydiving rig would go here, and then my clothes would go here. Now I just use it as my travel bag, and oh my god, it's the best bag I've ever owned. Plenty of space, more than I need, and honestly, I love it. Let's start off with the biggest pocket, and it's actually the pocket where I keep my clothes. In this pocket I have two, five, eight joggers. I'm absolutely obsessed with these joggers. They're from Cotton On, and not only do I think they look good, but they're also light, breathable, and stretchy, which makes them perfect for active activities like rock climbing, running, and even just taking them to the gym. They're so nice, very functional, and I love that about them. I'm also carrying a pair of sweatpants in case it gets really cold out, and I've also got one pair of jeans. I was thinking, what if we go to a nice fancy dinner one day, and they don't allow joggers, they require you to wear pants, I've had that rule before, didn't need to use them though. Two and a half months of carrying dead weight. That's okay though. Shorts. I've got two pairs of swim trunks, obviously for any water activities. Sometimes I do use them though to go to the gym, which is kind of nice, very functional. I've got some running shorts. I've got one, two, three, four pairs of running shorts. And honestly, I use these as swim trunks as well. They work great as both. The biggest difference is that they're breathable and stretchy, but also I prefer their netting instead of swim trunk netting because it's like the Under Armour. It sticks to you and while you're swimming, it stops any unnecessary sights from being seen, if you know what I mean. Dude, was that a little wrap? Oh my God. So all in all, one, two, three, four, five, six different shorts. Oh my god, I've got more shirts than anything in here. The majority of my shirts are in black. I've got one, three, six different black shirts. I would say about a quarter of the shirts I wear are in white. Four white shirts. It's actually less than I thought. Gotta add some color to your life, so I have some neutral ones as well. Oh, five if you count this one. Wow, I have more colored shirts than I do white. I didn't know that about myself. I've got two different shirts that were intended to be worked out in, but truthfully, um, I just go to the gym in whatever shirt I'm wearing. It's just much more efficient that way, but I do hope that it doesn't end up ruining the lifespan of these shirts. That would suck. I've also been carrying this shirt around. It's actually my football jersey shirt from when I was in like first grade, I want to say. Look at that. And now that Levi's in the football, what are the chances that he played on a team with the exact same colors? That's insane! But I can't believe my mom kept this. This was a cool find. I want to give this to him when I move into my new place. Now the last and final shirt was more for like fancier events and parties and such. It's the only turtleneck shirt I own. And honestly, I dig it. Somebody told me I look terrible in it, but I refuse to believe them. <laughs> I mean, I'm not kidding though. I really like the way it looks. It doesn't look bad. They were just hating. I've also got this giant selfie stick in here. I mainly use it for my 360 camera to get some of the coolest shots I've ever seen. Some passport and travel IDs. That's pretty cool. I've got my passport, my green card. Dude, this kind of sucks though because I've been telling people I can't go to Mexico thinking I left this in storage. Damn it! We could have had so much more fun these last few months. Oh well. You can truly never go wrong with having extra undies and socks. I counted 13 different undies. Actually, maybe I should put them back there because nobody wants to see my hands for that long. And then I have 14 different pairs of socks. Eight white ones, six black ones. Socks, undies, and shirts are the three things I always change at least once a day, sometimes multiple times a day, hence why I have so many of those three items. Pants, you can get away with wearing multiple days in a row. Sweaters and hats, you can wear indefinitely. I just prefer to wash them at least once a week, just so they don't start to like really stink, you know? Got my gray sweater that I've recently fallen in love with. I have this one as well that I used to love until I got this one in my new black one. Oh my god, there's a spider on it. Oh, oh, off you go. I hate spiders. Anywho, I got this black one and this gray one while I was living out of the suitcase, and they're my two favorite sweaters by far. I believe I got them from Hollister. Nope, I lied. It was Abercrombie and Fitch. Dude, I didn't know I had these in here. So these are my dirt bike pants. I can also use them for mountain biking in case I want to do either of those while I was out of my place. Got the jersey too for dirt bike riding. Love that I have that. Nice. Actually, I ended up not using it. So why do I love that I have it? I don't know. I also have these rash guards in case it was too warm to use a wetsuit while surfing. I actually chose not to use one of these in Mexico. And look at this. 
I have a permanent scar now. Okay, so earlier I lied. What? I forgot I had a black turtleneck. Why haven't I worn it? I don't know. Oh, I think I like the black one even more. Dude, I look like sophisticated. Oh, wait till that person who was hating sees me in this. I'm gonna make him eat those words. <laughs> And then I have this collared shirt. Both are for fancier occasions that I ended up not even using. So this right here sums up everything I have inside my bag. Now let's move on to what's in my front two pockets. It's where I keep all my dirty clothes, my climbing gear, which has come in handy. I've gone climbing many times throughout these last two months. I've also got these these uh, waterproof bandages, they're actually what finally allowed this scar to stop cutting back open and, and bleeding again. Like I said though, dirty clothes. This is my muumuu that I wore last night. <laughs> it's the v-neck. It's giving me some aerodynamics. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> I've actually fallen in love with this thing. All jokes aside, it was the comfiest thing to sleep in last night. It's got ooh, moisturizer for my hair and face. Nice. Oh yeah, this is a must-have. Toenail clippers and tweezers. Well, gotta have good hygiene, so you know what the toenail clippers are for. The tweezers are for any ingrown hairs that might be stubborn and hard to get out with your fingers. I didn't end up using this at all. This is just shampoo, conditioners, body wash. Everywhere you go, either your friends have these or the Airbnbs and hotels do. Don't know why I decided to bring these. Thought I was gonna need them. Never used them once. I did put an extra two toothbrushes in here though, because that, if you lose a toothbrush, you can't live without one. That's disgusting. I've got this razor, which it has no heads because I ran out of heads. Luckily, Kyla was nice enough to have some, so was able to get a shave in yesterday. Oh, now these are a must have. During the first month that I was living out of this thing, I was still going on dates and stuff. And nothing is more unattractive. Ah, actually, that's a lie. One of the biggest, mm, I wouldn't say one of the biggest. B.O. is bad when you're on a date. Got some cute tips. Truthfully, I don't feel clean unless I clean out my ears after getting in the shower. I don't know why it's the weirdest thing. Without this, I feel just as dirty as before I got in the shower. Next, we have some shaving cream. And last but not least, my toothbrush, which it's almost... Time to get a new one, I mean, look how messed up this thing is. It's been abused, this poor toothbrush. And that does it. That sums up everything that's in my luggage, everything I've been living with for the last two and a half months. And I hope this video wasn't too boring. Never done one of these, thought I'd try. I truly hope you guys enjoyed it. I can't wait for all of us to see what my apartment looks like tomorrow because I haven't even seen it either. So that'll be fun, that'll be exciting, and that does it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!